Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the FIFA 22 My Player Career Mode with Ricardo Itzo. Uh, in the last episode we played the friendly and unfortunately didn't make it out of the group stage. Found out world class were too easy, we've upped it up, we're now on legendary. We're gonna hop in to the first game straight off the bat, Fleetwood away from home. So let's get into it. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, with his fresh boots on. And here we go for our first game, competitive game. Away from home against Fleetwood in the blue kit. Let's go. Hello, ready straight from kickoff. Looks like we're struggling. Like I said in the last episode, the defense is. What, what's he doing? Boy, is this keeper alright? Yeah, the, the defence is very poor. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Oh my. Honestly, the defence is woeful, to say the least. But... The old... Brazil saying, if my t if their team scores six, we'll score seven. Hopefully. No way! Come on. I'm not 100% sure if Fleetwood are a good team or not. This is the first game of the season, so not un not 100%. And I'm not I mean, knowledge isn't brilliant on this league either. Oh, you've got a bag. At least hit the target. Oh, you are having a laugh again. Come on, Edda. It's been a, a good first half, I think. It's not not really one-sided. Both teams being at a good go. Can't believe we've hit the post and the crossbar in the first half. So hopefully, second half, let's expect a goal. So let's start this second half. Just need to start the season off well. We are a win in our first game and I've just been wiped out I think we've played well technically four games but you've seen three games and I'm thinking all three games my player has been wiped out I have not once seen a Fleetwood player. Oh, we knew that were coming. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. 
Yeah, as I was saying, I've not seen a Fleetwood player try and play a pass from one end at field to other. It just seems to be our team. Oh, it's off. Look at the gap. Are you mad? Oh, let's go! Equaliser! I'm not liking how I've got to drop deep to make passes and the game actually flow. If I don't drop deep, our team seems to try and make these mad passes. But dropping deep means that I'm not in a goal scoring like position, so... Finish up. Let's go. Come on. This is better. Well, and then they take him off. Oh, you know we've got to go for it. Oh, what a crack! You know if they weren't a keeper in there, that would go in. Oh, there we go. Put it to bed. 3 1. Just look at this again. The combination plate in the top third of the field was so precise, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Great first game. A nice 3 1 win. Manager is not impressed, but a win's a win. Three points, get over it. So, on to the second game, and it's a EFL Cup game against Port Vale, away from home again. Uh, we would like a good cup run, but I think an FA Cup run is better than an EFL Cup run. But we move, we'll, we'll give it a go, see what we can do. If we get a win, happy days. If we don't, then we don't. So here we go. First EFL Cup debut against Port Vale. Well, Derek, players and fans love a cup competition, and although we're a long way away from the final, both teams be looking to put their. I mean, we would like silverware, but I think we should focus more league silverware, whether that be playoff or the actual league cup I don't see Portsmouth what is this keeper doing again oh my team's men yeah I don't see Portsmouth beating teams like Man City Liverpool I would say Man United but there's a big chance uh, so I, yeah, FA Cup, EFL Cup, kind of our, our reach for now, until either the team gets better or we move on. Well, Derek, 
splendid attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! And there we go, boys. EFL debut. Carabao Cup debut. And we get a goal. So, happy days. It's a shame it's not a league goal, but don't worry, there's plenty of league games. There's only so many Carabao Cup games. Bit scrappy. Not a brilliant finish, but a goal's a goal. We take them. So the ball rolling again. Oh, great technique and accuracy from the keeper, able to turn us away. A Good save. Stop. Clear the corner. Try to pick Get it out. The clearance wasn't decisive. Anywhere but there would have been nice. Tremendous block. He's using his strength to good effect. Well done, my son. Who are you passing it to there? See an opening? Oh, never mind. Ah, dodgy angle, good save. But this game is looking better. I would say I've warmed up. But yes. Oh, you've got to. Oh, nice little bit of skill as well. That is unlucky. He's actually struck that. I didn't think he was going to shoot from there. I, I said that. I, I did a shot roughly in the same area. Ignore me. Forget it. Well. As I was saying, again, it's the defence, it's the defence, blame the defence. When all else fails, blame the defence. Like I said in the last episode, attacking wise, I think we're fine. Defensive wise, if it. Challenge. Play man. Oh my. Oh my. What a touch. Just pulled it back. And again. Have it again. Strike it. What are we doing? Why are we passing it around? Oh, you should have put your laces through it. don't know how long we're going to stay at Portsmouth for. That is all up to you guys, whether you want me to stick with it, full season with Portsmouth, see what we can do, try and get promoted, or whether you want me to just get to January, have a look what the situation's like, go out on loan, or try and get a transfer. But I will, I will leave it to you. So just drop a comment. Let me know. There you go. I knew there were a foul coming at some point. We're on four for four with fouls. I can remember. I think it was FIFA 2018 when you used to have like accomplishments. 
and you had to do certain things to unlock certain stuff. And I know one of them to get ankle tape was to was to be fouled so many times. And I think it was like white ankle tape was one foul drawn, and then coloured ankle tape was like five and more, five or more. I don't know why that's just popped into my head, but I just you know blast of the past. Interesting. Just like I can remember FIFA 15. Oh, tear them. We tear them into top bins, don't we? I was just about to say, I can remember FIFA 15 when you could just pull up just outside the box, finesse shot, goes in every time. But when you're as good as Eatso, I mean, yeah. Top bins every time. <laughs> Please meet your wife at the steps. My man's lost his wife in the stadium. It's not even a big stadium. That's got to be another corner. Yes. Now aim for my meat again. Go on. Oh, he has an all. Never mind. Yeah, going back on the conversation about FIFA 15 and stuff. I used to like the accomplishment way of levelling up your pro and your player. It, it just kind of gave you a challenge. Like, I like this way, playing games, getting XP, levelling up, using skill points. But there was just something about having to... Oh, really? There's just something about having that like challenge every time you play the game it weren't just win a game get a high like match rating it was like try and score a volley from 40 yard out and it just made it a little bit more challenging even though loads of people just like went on to Korea because back in I'm sure it was FIFA 15 please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments but Show you FIFA 15. Your pro was your player as well. Like you could actually play as your pro on kickoff. Um, so when you made your pro, you chose your team that you wanted him to be in. So like Man City. And when you were Man City in kickoff, your player was also in that. And when he progressed through your accomplishments, uh, you level obviously went up online as well so loads of people were just creating a pro putting it on beginner smashing shots from halfway line to get all hard ones done and just basically just i think that's probably why they've they changed it to then you had an online and an offline career mode and it weren't like connected but yeah i I did enjoy the old FIFAs. It were. I don't know. It's just retro, isn't it? I don't get me wrong. I, I do like the new ones. This one is growing on me a bit. Didn't like it at first. But yeah, it is. I just think FIFA is the only thing that really gets upgraded for people like me who only play career mode. I mean, I'm happy that they've changed a lot this year. 
but in past it were just the players in the like the squads, the players, the graphics, and the actual like gameplay had changed a bit. But there were no new features really to career modes. It were all about ultimate team. I mean, pro clubs got quite a lot of upgrades and stuff early doors. But career mode, like I say, it was just very standard. But this player career mode, it's much better. And I'm sure they've put it on this one. I think it's this FIFA. Or it might be the new gen only. You don't have to request a transfer anymore. If a team wants you, they'll put an offer in for you. Again, I, I'm not sure. I've not played the new gen. Uh, so, anyone who plays new gen and play play a career mode, and if they know more, again, let me know. Uh, so yeah, I've, but I am I am enjoying this, and I've rabbited it on enough to get to end of the game. Another three-one win, and into the next round of the Carabao. Two goals for each so this time. So there we go. Our manager is happy with us this time. Plus 25 on the manager rating. Uh, nearly level 6, which is great to see. We've got a big 10 match rating. Ballers. First Carabao Cup game complete. Two goals. Need to focus on the league. And we have got crew Alexandra at home for the next game. But I'm going to leave it there on a little cliffhanger. Uh, I'm sorry it's only been two games today. I'll I'll make a bigger video tomorrow. Uh, I've got something in line. That's why it's sure I've been recording something else as well. So that'll drop at some point. So maybe this video will come out and then maybe two will come out back to back. Just so we can keep on top of this. And then the other things that I've got planned also will be filtered in here and there. So if you've liked this episode, please like, subscribe leave a comment I am also changing the boots of my player every episode so if you want to see a certain boot want to see me wear pink blue whatever type of boot drop it in the comments and I will make sure each so will wear your boots in the next episode so thank you for coming see you soon uh -huh.